Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Old School Game Snob channel. Today I am going to put together a video while well, I have put together a video and took about the whole yesterday of filming as I was playing through my first play session of Diablo 2 Resurrected. The entire area now and then how it used to be compared to how Diablo 2 has remastered everything. So we're going to go through the entire game and take a look at basically all the areas. I might have missed a couple of the optional areas like the pit for example, uh, but for the most part this is going to include uh, basically everything. I tried to also include a lot of the different monsters that you'll encounter. Uh, we kind of do a, a, a current version, a uh, before version, and then a look back to the current version again for each of these little sequences. So here we are in the Den of Evil. The Den of Evil uh, looks really, really good. Uh, the new monster models, they look really, really good. They feel um, they feel somehow more substantial, right? The, the speed at which they move, the sort of impact that their uh, animations have, it feels more uh, more lifelike, more impactful, more realistic. And uh, yeah, it's, I really, really appreciate the work. And here's a, here's a nice case where the uh, artists have actually even added in extra detail that wasn't even necessarily there in the original version actually and it, it really looks really good. Uh, here we are defeating Blood Raven, some nice uh, sparkly lightning visual effects. Here are some Skelly Boys. Uh, I thought they looked really cool. They remind me of that old movie Jason and the Argonauts. Have you, anybody ever seen that one? It's from like the 60s or something like that long ago. Uh, anyway, I thought those guys were cool. Here we are in the stony field. And now we're in the underground passage on the way to the dark forest. Uh, yeah, just all the character models look really, really cool. Um, yeah, I think we're still in the underground fat passage here, pretty sure. Yeah, underground passage and uh, heading into the dark forest. Um, yeah, it's interesting how a level of detail and improved graphics just... You notice a bunch of things that you don't notice otherwise. Like, I just noticed a bunch of things that I never really, my brain never pieced together. Here we are in Tristram, of course, old Griswold. Um, my brain never pieced together what some of the things I was looking at actually was. Here's poor, poor old Rit and uh, his, uh, his leg. <laughs> um, here we are at the Forgotten Tower. Uh, down below we're going to descend in a moment to check out the Countess. Countess? The, the Countess? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's interesting when you play Diablo Resurrected, you know what everything is if you're a long-time Diablo player. Like, it's all instantly recognizable, and at the same time, if you look more closely, it's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all, like, just new. It's all, like, it's all different. It's all entirely revamped, but, you know, it's, it's so true to um, the original Vision, just upgraded. They, the, the team at Vicarious Visions... They did a heck of a job, and those guys just need to pat themselves on the back. And I know there's some server issues going on right now, but um, yeah, here we are in the barracks. Um, yeah, just a beautiful job of artwork everywhere. I think here we are in possibly the jail, or the catacombs, and I think we're in the jail. Jail and catacombs start to look a little different, but that actually was probably the catacombs, because here we are just outside of Andariel's um, throne room. I'm going to say throne room. I don't know. Um, I, I don't usually walk all the way back to the end of this of this area. I just usually kill Andariel and go, but I think there's a throne back there. Yeah, to check that at some point. All right, here we are in Act 2, Loot Golane. Um, yeah, just very impressive visuals. It really increases the immersion of this game, and uh, you can probably hear, well, maybe you, hopefully you can hear a little bit over my, my yap in here, but the ambience and the audio and the music and all of that is just also enhanced at, and the sort of ambient energy the air the vibe of of the game is just actually brought out even further some of the effects like the lightning effect sounds very uh, true to the original game but also has like this extra crackle this extra snap yeah actually here here we go here, here we go some lightning spells but it has this sort of extra extra effect extra impact to it i noticed in the case of something like lightning and frozen orb later on which you'll see uh it just it just takes what was good about the original sound effect and it just adds a little bit of extra oomph which really increases that sort of visceral immersion this like this that that previous scene i never noticed that before ever but there's actually some sort of weirdo rat half rat half man thing hanging there 
man, I don't even know. There's actually some extremely gruesome uh, scenes in this game, and and because the graphics used to be you know lower resolution, you don't really notice just how gruesome they are <laughs> until you see what they what they actually are. Um, did I ever even register that there was a mummy hanging out of that uh, out of that uh, sarcophagus? I don't know if I did or not. I don't know. Um, but I saw it clearly this time. So, yeah, it's really interesting to play Diablo Resurrected and to re-see, oh, the maggot layer. I thought this was one of the best improvements that they have, have they, they did. Like, look at the detail, right? Like, before and after there. Like, that is, you just really feel like you're in the maggot layer. Like, it's so, it's so, like, swampy and, and like, icky and gross. Like, <laughs> you, you feel it, you see it. Um, uh, where was I? I don't know. That's okay. We'll get on to the next thing. Here we are in the Hulls of the Dead. This is a later game level 85 farming area. Very popular. Just thought I'd make a quick stop in here. Uh, Claw Viper Temple. Um, it's interesting, yeah. Like I said, the things that blend in in low resolution, low graphics, and the things that you really notice in, in high graphics. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, here we are uh, just about to get the Haradric uh, part. What, which part? I forget. Cube, Staff, Amulet. I forget. I think the Amulet. Oh, and the uh, here we are in the harem. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful artwork and the creatures. They just somehow feel somehow more substantial, right? More, more visceral. Uh, Arcane sanctuary. The ghosts. I thought they did a really good job of the ghosts. Look really quite, uh, quite spooky. Here we have poor Juriel. I couldn't record him. Oh, and here's a here's a look at that. Look at the boat. Look at the boat rocking up and down in the waves. It's just static in the old version. But look at that. You have all of that extra detail there and you can see here we have it jumped into act three boy i'm trying to keep up with the narration um but yeah i couldn't i couldn't actually film jury hill uh and uh and not die so i had to just <laughs> film him when he was already dead um here we have the thorn hall has just like a bunch of key pressing all at the same time it's like press record switch to old version switch to new version the gloams i thought they did a really good job of as well those were those were really cool uh, and then, you know, save it and try to time just the right time. It was, was kind of tricky to, to record the old and new version and not die. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit of flayer jungle there. Here we are in Lower Kurost at one of the, nearby one of the super chests. Here we are in, I think, the Bazaar, the Kuros Bazaar. Somewhere around there. Lower Kurost, Upper Kurost, Kuros Bazaar. Uh, we jumped back here for, for a little bit. I had, I, you know, sometimes the the... The jungle is a place where it's easy to get lost, so I had to come back and find the flare jungle, and now we came back and found the spiders, uh, spiders den, spiders den. Uh, here's a couple of the big ugly flame spiders. <laughs> um, the sewers, the sewers around uh, under Kurost, one of my least favorite places in the whole game. Um, here we are about to enter one of the lost temples where you get the book. I forget which one this one is particularly called. And here is inside of that temple. Also a level 85 farming area and game. I think we are in uh, the Kurost Bazaar here or Upper Kurost. Here we are just about to enter Travancol. Actually, we are in Travancol, technically. Um, <laughs> and uh, here is the council. Yeah, these guys look really cool. The hydras look really cool. Just the lighting effects. Look at those lighting effects. They look so good. Like the lighting effects and if anything, I would say the lighting has improved even over the aesthetic of the original. They've taken what the original aesthetic was and they've just, you know, they've just doubled down on it. Like it looks, uh, I, I hate to say better, but yeah, I know it looks better. <laughs> I mean, what, of course it looks better. Like it's modern graphics and all that sort of stuff, but the vibe of it, like the energy, the ambience of that is actually even better. And look at that, look at how gruesome this scene is. Like, did I ever really notice that this scene was as gruesome as it was in, in the original graphics? I don't think so. Uh, here we are just about to, here we are, level three, Durants of Hate. Uh, by the way, that's where we've been, Durants of Hate. Good old Mephisto. Uh, here's me trying to record a little video without dying to one of his lightning balls. <laughs> Here we are at the Pandemonium Fortress. Our, our helpful and lovely angel Tyrael looks so good. Uh, here we are at the Outer Steeps, Outer Steps. I think this is the Outer Steps. Pretty sure. I think that's what it's called. Steep Steps. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that. And yeah, look at the just zooming in to check out some of the detail of those of those slain demons here. 
Um, yeah, the Doom Knights, I thought they did a really good job at. Like, they looked really, really cool. They always looked cool, but they, they looked really cool. They looked like these undead hulking warriors. Yeah, I thought they looked really cool. And I also really liked the Doom Casters. They somehow look a little bit more menacing. Uh, and, I mean, they were never really menacing. They were always one of the LOL monsters, at least for sorcerers. Maybe other classes have more trouble with them, I don't know. Uh, but here's Izazul. Izazul? Izazul? Um, oh, and the River of Flame. Oh, man, I was so impressed by the River river of Flame. It just felt like you're now, you know, you're now strolling through hell. Like, what else would hell look like? Like, they nailed it, right? I was always impressed by the River of, of Flame. Even in the original game, I thought, this is what hell should look like. Like, it feels like we're descending into hell because of the River of Flame. But, yeah, Diablo Resurrected just, just really brings that you know, to life. Here we are uh, at the Hell Forge. Uh, those, uh, I just thought those statue, statues looked really cool. Uh, here we are just in front of the uh, Chaos Sanctuary, and again, I'm just checking out the detail of that lava. Look at that, that's so, so nice. Uh, the pen, uh, uh, no, the Chaos of Sanct, uh, what the hell am I, where the hell are we? I forget. <laughs> um, Diablo's Chaos Sanctuary, that's it, Chaos Sanctuary. Um, just opening some of the seals here. About to summon the big man himself, El Diablo. Uh, he looks so good. Um, I made a whole video actually just of the fight with Diablo just because I thought his effects looked so, so good. Uh, we got a little bit of that here, but if you want to see that in full detail, uh, it's also on my channel. Uh, finally, here we are in Hagarath. 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 Uh, here we are in Act 5. <clears throat> Uh, here we are just outside about to take out Schenk, the overseer. Um, just a little bit, uh, what, what's the name of the cold, no, cold plains? Cold, I forget. I forget. Um, thresh, shot, thresh socket. And then we're going to head on into the underground passage. No, the crystalline river. No, I always get these, I always get these frozen places mixed up. I always forget which is which. Is which. Which, but we're in one of the frozen places here now. Um, yeah, I forget which which one it's called, but I'll just let you watch the video. <laughs> that's all right. Had a nice little bone uh, set bone wand drop here. I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. Had a little faster cast rate and stuff. And when you have nothing, anything's good. Just thought this armor looks so so nice. Like the detail on on these set pieces looks so so nice. Um, where are we? Oh yeah, Pindle skin. Uh, we're about to, and I, I lingered a little too long there, as you can see. <laughs> the, the defiled warriors rose up. Here is the famous Pindleskin. Here we are at the Ariat Plateau. I believe we're at the Ariat Plateau. Um, yeah, the the flame. Uh, what's it called? The Inferno effect. These guys throw out. It's just so cool. It looks so so good. I like how the flame goes. Starts blue and then becomes like regular fire color. That, that that's, I imagine that's how it would look. Here we are at the Ancients battle, and now we are battling the Ancients. I got a little Frozen Orb spell, super happy about that, I really love Frozen Orb. Uh, I did a short just about Frozen Orb. Here we are in the World Stone Keep. Uh, World Stone Keep looks good, as you would expect. Uh, it all kind of looked the same, so I just kind of gl glazed through that. Here we are on the Throne of Destruction. Here we are facing Baal himself. About to throw down some minions upon us. Um, yeah, here we are in the uh, the uh, what the hell? The World Stone Keep. Here we are in the World Stone Keep. No, here we are in the uh, what? What is this area called? I totally forgot. Totally drawing a blank here. Uh, anyway, that's that. <laughs> I feel embarrassed. I'm totally drawing a blank. Uh, here we are. That's it. That's the end. That's Bale. Uh, I didn't know that he uh, suffered so badly. I feel a little bit bad for the guy with his big spidery legs there. Hope you guys like this video.